Okay guys, we have a large lipoma today. So this is a full seven, eight centimeters across on the lower back. We're gonna be taking this out today with a little wedge cut across here so that skin will fall flat for him. It's been painful, we're gonna get that out, um, get him taken care of. Okay guys, it's Greg Lindstrom, PA, Mr. Popsy here. We have a large lipoma like I mentioned earlier all numbed up and ready to go. We're gonna be cutting this out, pop it out, and then close that for him. This bump is kind of on the pant line, so it causes him discomfort when they get this size. It's time for them to come out. Yeah, so do we have, I'll put this under here, in case it bleeds a little. And again, as you guys have seen me do before, I will cut a small wedge of skin on the top. So as this bump goes down, then we can close that skin and it falls together nicely. separate looks like a lipoma now sometimes cysts will be in here like this too so once we pierce the capsule we'll be able to see what kind of tissue we're working with one is really encapsulated quite a bit. Separating nicely from the surrounding tissue. Let's see that whole ball right there. Checking for vessels here. No pain at all? Good, just pressure? Very good. This is good. 
separate in here. It's almost came out kind of as a one big globule. The mystery bump, huh? <laughs> Good time. Yeah. If it comes out. Oh, there's a vessel there. Yeah, so let's. Let me see this. I hold pressure. Let me just cauterize that. And then when we got down to the bottom, we see a couple of vessels. Nice, we got that vessel stopped. Okay, coming out nice so far. It was playing nice until right there. <laughs> And she had some skin hooks, right? I think she ordered. Get some of these deep adhesions here out. Little vessel there, okay. And you can pause. We'll do, let's get a skin hit. You can grab this. You need four sets of teeth, actually, probably. You can grab like that. Still no pain, doing okay? Yep. Good, you're doing great. Using this out from the bottom. There's a vessel right close to here, but this is almost fully encapsulated, which is interesting. Very interesting. Almost out. Yeah, I would wait. That's good. You got some for yourself? Yeah. 
Right. So what I'm gonna have you do over down there. Hmm. And just lightly like that. You can grab it closer. Just pull that back for me. Perfect. They're, yeah, they're bringing the skin hooks from the other office, actually. when you have a big surgery day and all the skin hooks were used <laughs> mm -hmm. you have them cleaning you do with what you have very good it's very fibrous right there you can grab right there and just pull back just a little a little vessel underneath there that we're going to have to get just a sec. Yeah, you can Let's see where that one is. Yeah, let's see it. Mm -hmm. That's okay. There you A little bit there or no? I feel a little bit. Just a little? Okay. Wow, oh, you're doing great. There's a vessel right there before I cut it. I'm just going to cut it. Felt that? Yeah. Okay, let me get you a little because we're deep. That's what happens sometimes. I'm going to put a little bit more Lido down there. Anything there pinches or not bad? Not bad. Not bad, yeah. Literally about 80% done. I was gonna deflate this, but it's coming out so nice. I'll cut it up on the table. I don't even think it's gonna fit on this. Yeah, well, I'm gonna cut it in half, so. Okay. This is what looks like the root of a lipoma I just saw there. I just need to get his adhesions on this side and we're done. I'm gonna have you grab that piece of skin there. Pull towards you. You grab the skin, yeah. Pull towards you. Perfect. its own blood supply. That's gonna close nice. I'm gonna feel some tugging now. It's normal. That looks like where the lipoma's kind of popping out there. Yeah. That's the root of it, kind of where it started, most likely. Very nice. Get this 
some moss pit out. Okay, there we go. Now that's no joke. That's a big growth right there. Yeah, I'll just make a little space in the middle there. It's got some heft to it. <laughs> Very spongy. I do feel some firm things in the middle. We're gonna cut that open and see. No real big bleeders because we took our time. We didn't just hack away in there or anything and that's gonna close perfectly for him. That fat will redistribute in there. So we'll put this in here for a sec and we're gonna come over here. I'm gonna put the hyperkater back up. Make sure this thing doesn't have a heart inside. <laughs> I'll pierce this sack here. Oh yeah, look at that guys, a cyst. I was wondering that with how dark it was. Okay. <laughs> so it was a cyst, let's put it. Epidermal inclusion cyst. There it is. So. That's old skin from years gone by. We got that. So that was, that was interesting. No lipoma. Um, there was some fat. tissue at the bottom but we send that out make sure it's benign and that was a large epidermal inclusion cyst in one piece you okay <laughs> not lightheaded right now <laughs> okay so we're just gonna get the sack here you can see that deflated sack and that's the contents there it's a big, big pocket, lots of dead skin cells that deflated now. Still several centimeters even after it's all deflated. That in the cup, send that out, and that's the end. All right.